Hi guys, Mr. Space here reporting for duty. I hope you have a fantastic day. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking on Monaco in the first knockout round, first leg. Now, this is going to be an exciting game. I think a while back we have played Monaco. Let's just take a look in our first season. Um, I do remember playing Monaco. Yes, we did. We played them in the Euro Cup 2. You know, back in the good old days. And now we see them once again in the Champions League. It is exciting. I hope you're excited. Get strapped in. This is going to be one hell of a video. But first of all, I want to show you something very interesting that happened. If you take a look at our transfer activity, you will notice that a lot of things have happened this winter. First of all, we have let go a few players. We have sold Sasas Delcher to DL Pro. He was a very good player. He was a very, very good leader, high determination. He was very important to the squad. But... I thought at 28, he wasn't playing much and not earning much. So I thought it was a good time for him to move on, you know, enjoy his football football career somewhere else. And DL Pro came with 3.8 million. I think at the time it was a good deal. Next up, we have Dejan Zukic, which is uh, something I didn't really want to do. But again, when you get to young players like this, they want to move. They want to transfer. And this is just what happens. They want to go to bigger teams. And I mean, he's going to play for Sheffield United, which is uh, just got promoted. And they're currently 15th. So, yeah. That could be something good for him. I mean, I hope he does well. You know, he did very well for us this season. Look at that, 11 goals. Well, <laughs> 11 assists, 7 goals. I keep getting that confused for some reason. Very good performer. I hope he does a great job there. We sold also, I think it's the last big sale here. We sold Bojan Balas. Again, another player who just wanted to move on. He wanted to go to the next stage. And I guess you can't really say anything about that. It's unfortunate, but... You know, again, a very, very important player, good player. He played for us actually in the gold, good old days. We signed him for a million, sold him for 7.5. Huge profit. Hopefully, he's going to appear a lot for Stoke. Let's see in the tactics if he does. Nope, he looks like a little bit more of a kind of rotation player. So, yeah, I hope he does well. Like with a lot of these guys that are leaving, no, but no hard feelings. But unfortunately, that's just the nature of the game. On the ends, there are some pretty interesting things. So first of all, obviously, we signed Ivan Illich for 6.5 million. This was something that you knew before. It's not really important. We signed this guy on a free, a pretty good player. I think he was um, playing for, what's it called, Trial. And I found him. He was playing for the Serbian under-19s. And I thought, why not? For free, maybe he can be a rotation player. Maybe he can be a youth player. In worst case scenario, we just sell him on for later stages. That's fine. And the player I'm kind of tiptoeing around is Marco Mandic. I'm not, I don't remember if I mentioned this guy, but he looks incredible. Once again, we have raided Vojvodne, who are becoming quite, I want to say a patron. They they basically sold 19 million just to us, really, Bajic, Ziva, and uh, Mandic. And with that, they've spent a lot of money, so they're very happy. I guess we can see a next big squad coming in Vojvodne just because of how much money we spent on them. But nonetheless, uh, Marko Mandic is an amazing player. Good first touch, good passing, good vision. Basically, he'll be our playmaker for the future. Beautiful physicals, good mentals already. If he can improve a little bit more in the technicals, maybe dribbling, maybe finishing, he will be incredible. But apparently, he also argues with officials. So, like me. So, to catch up on what happened, we have played a lot of games. Haven't lost a single one, apart from a friendly, but it doesn't count. Zukic with a double. We miss him already. Ah, oh, look at that. So sad. But yeah, he scored two goals early on, five and ten minutes in. Beautiful player. Like I said, I love him. But it was time for him to go, and he wanted to go, and I couldn't stand in his way. Then we took on, well, the second team of Red Star. Again, beautiful result. We rotated the squad. Ismen Dersevic scored a double, who's going to be on loan at Vajvodne. You know, they're kind of... They're our feeder club in the sense of we also steal their players. And, uh, you know, whenever they need players back, we just send it to them. Beautiful result. Again, very rotated squad. So, I guess, can't really say much there. 5-2 against Javor. Exciting, exciting game. You know, two early goals. Nothing happened. And then we scored a flurry of goals. When And then they finished in the end. So, again, Paspal's not having a great game. Poor dude. Vlahovic, hat-trick. Vlahovic also having a great season. Radnik, beautiful, beautiful result. Dragon with a double. Stanich with, again, a goal, which is good. I want to see more of him. A decent preseason. We obviously had to try new combinations of players. First game back, we took on Vozvodak, who is struggling currently, but Stanic came and scored again. Ziva scored a goal. Beautiful stuff there. Goal against TFC, scored by Fanny Vlahovic in the 89th minute. Slightly more stressful, but, you know, it's, it's a win regardless. We're still doing amazingly. And finally, against India, Pavlovic and Vlahovic scored. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And today brings us up all the way to the Monaco game. So, what am I talking about crazy things? Well, first of all, look at this. There is a... Bit of a, I, I was going to say title race, but the place for second place. Also, actually, look at this. Look how tight this is from Vojvodne all the way to Chukarički. Only eight points separate them. And that doesn't take into account 
Vaivod Nest 23 points. Incredible. Wow. That is some good stuff there. But yeah, Chukarichki is second. Uh, Red Star is third and potentially can drop as low as TSC as fourth. Incredible. How's their star look? Have they sold players? Yeah, I think I, th- I keep checking this every time. I keep forgetting it. Yeah, they've sold, oh, they've sold Radulic, I think, who is a very good player who I wanted to sign, but he didn't want to join. 1.7 million. Jesus. What a, what a, what a, just, I, yeah, that's low price, but that's what happens when he has, I think he had like a transfer clause in there and I can't buy him because he plays for a rival. Fair enough, I guess. Also sold this guy. Very good player. I think we've been trying to sign him a while back, ages ago. Decided not to, and then Southampton stole. So, yeah. So, where does this leave us as a club? Well, first of all, that's a quick mention there. Take a look at the dynamics thing. Stupar is currently fighting with me. I told him he's not allowed to join PSG. He's annoyed, but PSG didn't make another offer. So, that's good. I'm going to try and hopefully play him a little bit more so he thinks I'm a great person. Give him a contract and see if he stays with me. He's very, very, very good. Look at that. He's growing so well. And he's finally making more appearances. He's already made 13 appearances. That's almost... You know, as, well, as much as he made last year, but the season's not over, so it's some good stuff there. So, h- what does this leave our squad? Well, so basically, the back four is a bit changed. We're going to have Markovic as the <laughs> center defender now instead of uh, being a right back. I'm going to try and sign him at the end of the season. I didn't want to sign him yet because maybe I think there was a little thing that said he will not be able to get registered this season, and I didn't want to risk it for the Champions League. So, let's not risk that. So, I'm going to sign him at the end of the season, most likely. We just need some cover at the back. Well, actually, we need a good center back whilst ours are going. Paspal is going to be in goal. Please don't mess up, buddy. I beg you. Jurosovic is going to be a left back. Stepanovic is going to be a ball playing defender. Markovic, Rogac. Rogac is going to be our new right back. He's going to be playing all the time. I hope he grows to be a great player. We're going to have Illich as a ro- uh, roaming playmaker. Paulic is going to be box to box. And he scored the last goal from box to box, which is impressive. Stepanovic will be our main player right now. Hopefully, he can do well. Ziva in the middle. Vlahovic on the right. And Stoicevic up front. Because Stanic... Has a little bit of an injury. He fractured his lower arm. He's playing in protective gear. Let's see if that was a mistake. Did we screw up his development? I'm not sure, but I wanted to use him for Monaco. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So get ready. Grab your coffee. Grab whatever snack you're going. And um, smash the like button while you're there. You know, it's been a lot of crazy things happening for Partizan. So I hope you're excited for that. And yeah, let's jump into the video. Idemo. So this is the Monaco team we're going to be playing against. Some good players. They have Garcia in the back. Okay, Torreira, Galavin. So they retained quite a decent portion of their players, but also they have some new ones. And that is very interesting to see. Uh, stadium is packed, looking beautiful once again. Also, I did notice during one of the games, we have actually had more fans go to a Red Star Derby. Yeah, the Vichiti Derby than go to a Champions League game, which I found incredible because it was against Porto, I think, or against... Uh, some other big teams, and apparently not that many people are interested as Vlahovic crosses to Stevanovic. Is he going to do a great cut-in? He does, Stevanovic. <gasps> Stevanovic scores in the second minute. We have a lead. Oh my, could this be the chance? Could we make it further than we've ever been? This is incredible. Oh, I am so excited. This looks like it could be a huge, long video as well. Like, I typically try to cut down to 12 minutes. This could be a huge one. Not going to be a double. I don't want to do double episodes. I really, really don't. It's not going to be... It's gonna be way too long. I mean, unless unless you guys tell me in the comments, do you should I do some shorter videos like this or longer videos like this? I don't know. Do you like double trouble videos? Tell me in the comments. And as I was trying to finish that, we had an injury to um, Pavlovich, so we're gonna put Mandic in. Maybe get uh, Mandic will be the Roman playmaker and put Illich as a box box. So we'll see how that changes the game. I mean, let's see how that early change plays off as he tries to chip Levakovic, or was that a cross? I mean, let's call it a cross. Let's let's not try to make... I don't even know what to say to that. That was a weird thing. Soltero, they have a chance. Plays the ball exactly the same way as we did to Stevanovic early back. But this time, Jurosovic gets to it. Jelson is stunned. Had a bower. Puts a cross in. Torreira. Oh, one of those. I hate one of those. Those... Lucas Torreira was just putting a tackle in, and apparently that's good enough. Unfortunate for the defense, really. Maybe a little bit slept on it, but oh no. We've conceded a goal, a very cheap one as well. Look at that. Gelson has no idea what's happening. But apparently, Jurosovic couldn't cover the second time. And who was that? If that was Mandic, I might cry. Can I click, please? Who is this? That's Illich. Oh, Illich is the box to box. Did not see that coming. We have a corner. We could potentially buy back at it. And we do! Stoy Savelic! And I did pick the right choice this time. I put Stoy Savelic instead of Stanic. Stanic is a great, great player, but he's plagued by injuries now, which is something that I really, really didn't want to see. But damn, guys, this is good. We are doing a great job. We're beating Milan 2-0. Milan, Monaco, I can't speak. What is going on to me? 
And we have another entry. Beautiful. Um, this is going to be one of those games where they try to injure everyone and the, the press is not going to ask me, hey, why did they try to play so aggressive? No. But whenever I somehow manage to injure one of the players, they always accuse me of, why is he playing dangerously? I mean, take a look at the tactics. Which one of them has tackle hard on it? Huh? Huh? Wait. I'm confused. Wait. Am I going crazy? Where's tackle hard? Oh, no. Get second. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? Was that an older full manager thing? I honestly don't remember. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Oh my god, boys. It's half time and we're winning somehow. We're winning 2-1. Incredible scenes. This is some good stuff. Great performance by everyone. I want to see a little bit more highlights, a little bit more chances, but that's fine. Right, let's just jump into the second half. Hopefully we can create something more and leave our fans happy and leave you guys happy. And if you are happy right now, smash that like button and don't forget to tell me in the comments, do you like bigger videos? Would you want an occasional uh, double video? Tell me. I want to know. Even though the second half started, nothing has happened. That's incredible. Oh, Stoicevelic hits the crossbar. Man, Stoicevelic, he's doing so well. He's scoring so many goals and so is Vlahovic. But the transfer offer that come for them are incredibly crazy, which makes me think maybe their potential is not as high as I think. But, I mean, you scored 27 goals in the league for Serbia. That's still incredible. Also, what I want to see, I think, I feel like that's something I want to see next year. It's like, sometimes you have these players that score a lot of goals. Something happens, you know, right tactics, right chances, just lucky, I guess. But why doesn't the, they have dynamic potential as Zivas shoots and Livakovic makes a beautiful save? So I feel like next time, maybe next future iterations, maybe have dynamic potential. You know, if a player plays well, like in FIFA sort of thing, their potential grows. So I think that'd be something cool. But as of now, basically Vlahovic and Stoicevelic, maybe they won't become world class, but who knows? I mean, judging by the fact that they're already getting in the 20s and no, no huge teams have come for them, really only smaller teams is worrying me. But, you know, they're still doing well. They're still in the later stages of the Champions League and actually scoring, which is good, Torreira. I like how I'm not actually acknowledging the game today, which is incredible. Pavon, ball over the top, Glavin, that's what he does. Can Paspalch do something? Paspalch can't, and Kristen Pavon just toe pokes it into the back, and uh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. Absolutely. Out of nowhere, Monaco had two chances, did nothing the whole game, and apparently that's enough for them to get a win, a draw, sorry. Ah! I am in pain. This is just horrible. We need to do something. Go very attacking. I want a win today. Let's work the ball into the box. Now, nah, let's work, work into the box. Uh, potentially focus more down the wings. Go a bit faster. That sort of stuff. Maybe they'll create some more chances. Who knows? Or maybe they'll create more chances for them. Uh, shout to them last demand more. Final highlight. What can that happen? What can that bring? Hadabor? Is he going to create something? Kelsey Martins. Pings it forward. We can't do anything. The pole switches it once again to Pavon, and it doesn't matter. We have a new player there. Pavon is going to get lots of space. Pavon is he going to blow past. He does, and he just misses. He just misses. Beautiful play by Kuchin to kind of uh, not let him shoot. Who's also in the yellow? Stoys the village. Oh, almost stopped it, but Garcia picks it up. Torreira back to Lovakovic. We have 30 seconds left. Can we do something, or maybe can they do something to completely ruin my day and your day as well? I, I assume. Bahabek Mandic plays it to Kuchin. Who's fresh? Look at Bahbek running through. Who still hasn't complained about first team play game time, which is just awesome. Pavon. Oh no, that's a that's a breakaway. That is a breakaway. Pavon's gonna break on. That's a beautiful sub by him. And Illich gets back in time, and that's a good tackle, potentially ending the game. I think it's gonna be two two now. Oh no, this was a chance to get like I was gonna say three points. This was a chance to get a win here, but apparently everything might get decided in Monaco as Stevanovic breaks away. We have referee! It was 2-on-2! Two two. Unbelievable! What is he doing? Why did he stop it then? We had a breakaway. It was 2 versus 2. Oh, that's a... Wow! That was horrible. Thank you, ref. Unbelievable. But the guys were unlucky. We played very well, and if it wasn't for a few earlier... I don't even know. A few earlier injuries, we could have potentially done better. My Marco Mandic played a horrible game. Um, yeah. Potentially should have played Pejic instead, but I wanted to see a youngster do, and Barcelona beats Chelsea. Yeah, I wanted to see one of our youngsters, and obviously when you pay 10 million, you kind of want him to do something. But let's see what happens. Two to three weeks for Physio. For Vlahovic, great. Two to three weeks for Pavlovic, awesome. And you're also out for one or two days. Okay. Not too bad at all, but what this leaves for us is 
we're gonna see you guys back for the red star game <laughs> which is quite soon and actually in one game which is incredible um i i mean if we beat red star now we pretty much win the league i reckon this is this is just 68 points with 24 like we're doing very, very well. Look at that. We're 20 points ahead of Chukarichki. That is incredible. You know what? I've made my mind. Why not? Let's get the rest of our game out of the way. Let's play it right now. So I'll see you guys for that game in about, well, a transition. So this video is going to be massive. No, not only do we have to cover a lot of games, a lot of transfers, we're getting two games, but now there's also a youth intake. This is actually incredible. Just, you know, you're, you, this is going to be like a 40, 50 minute video at this rate. Go get another cup of coffee because yours is probably cold. Mine definitely is, but... Okay, so this golden generation has been sold to us as a big lie. And as you can see from here, we have only signed the top six of this golden generation. They're all meh. What happened there? I mean, apart from Milos Leskovac, who looks to be a very decent ball winning midfielder. I mean, but that's all I can say is very decent. I mean, there's no point comparing him to other people. Good teamwork, good marking, good tackling. Maybe he'll become something decent aggression, you know. Decent is literally everything I can say about him. Um, we have another good goalkeeper in Lubizia Dordovic. We, we have so many goalkeepers. It's just insane. And apart from that, we have somehow an Argentinian playmaker, which I find awesome. It's pretty cool. He's very, very slow, unfortunately. He's 15 years old, so he can probably improve. Doesn't have the Serbian nationality. He will if he plays 67 games, so that's cool. But since he's one of our players, he's fine. I don't know how this happened, but it happened. And apart from that, literally no one else to mention. It, it, that's it. The rest, the rest of the six, I, I don't even know. But today we're going to be taking on Red Star. And what team do we have in store for you today? Because there was an injury. So when I said one injury, I actually meant multiple. So first of all, it's obvious. Popovic is going to be the goalkeeper here because Pospalic got injured in the last game. We're going to have the same back four as against Monaco. Illich and Pedic is going to be in the midfield. Stvanovic, Ziv, and Bahabek are going to be playing today. So is Savelch up front. And the problem is we are missing a lot of players. So Vlahovic got injured, uh, Pavlovic got injured, and obviously Paspalos got injured. So that's going to be a fascinating game. Stupar doesn't hate me anymore. Apparently PSG is not interested anymore. I gave him a long-ass contract. He will be with us forever. <laughs> yeah, he'll be with us forever. I, I really like him. I really, really like him. Maybe he'll come on today. But, you know, we're taking on again. We're playing on Fred Star, so we need to play a good team. But... I hope you guys are excited for it. This is going to be the longest video ever on my channel. I mean, probably not, but uh, the biggest food manager for sure. So I'll see you guys when the game starts. Demo times two. I am going to try to cut out as much boring stuff as possible, but this is how we line up. Beautiful. Bahabek hasn't started against Red Star in such a long time, so hopefully he will perform very well. Um, they have a really good team here. Obviously, it's uh, Red Star. They're a very good team. Katai is still the scary man. They have another one in the midfield. I think uh, I forgot his name. Bakanin? Bachanin? It's very good, very good. Uh, good young playmaker. So, yeah, we will see what happens. There we go. The team's being let out. We're playing once again at the home stadium, which is very nice to see. I clicked play by accident. And we have a highlight. Stvanovic, Pejic, Stoistovelic. Ooh, that was a good chance. Ball goes out for another corner. Wow, 55 minutes in and I already have to struggle to speak. This is awesome. This is beautiful. Petrovic picks up. Nothing really happens from that. They have a free kick. Ristic, what can he do? He can do that. And are we going to lose once again to Red Star because of a random goal and a random goalkeeper effort? That was from such a long distance away. And how did Popovich not save that? That is a good 10, minute, 10 meters, 20 meters away from the box. Yeah, Popovich. Mate, what are you doing? That was our first chance, first goal. And um, absolutely incredible scenes here at the Partizan Stadium. Awesome. Popovic, he's going to play it all the way back. He does switch his play to Stevanovic. Stoistovelic is injured. Great. This is perfect. We're going to have to take him off after this highlight. When this highlight's over, I don't want to miss a goal. We have done that before, which was boring. Katai, Petrovic, is he going to hit it forward? He does. We don't get countered. Markovic stops it. Pejic, what's he going to do? Is he going to take a shot? Looks like he's lining up a shot. It, it's... So Stoistovelic got injured. I can't handle this anymore he's struggling to run it off awesome so we're gonna have a stanich with a broken arm running which is beautiful so maybe that'll do something beautiful Ilich, ziva good interplay we are missing a lot of good players today which is unfortunate stevanovic this is your chance to shine bahabek and the old man himself the beautiful jean christophe bahabek scores once again we haven't said that name in a while we haven't said that name in such a long time yes boys absolutely amazing scenes he hasn't started a game in such a long time and this is how we replace the 
per perfect professional, really. Beautiful finish. He doesn't even need to run a lot. He just, he knows where to score. To be fair, if I were to rate the Vichiti Derbies, this is quite a decent one. A lot of things are happening. We're having shots. We're having highlights. Granted, a lot of them are just shoot from outside the box type because we have the shoot from outside the box thing on but i mean that is to be really much pretty much expected you know when you have when you tell them to shoot they will shoot i, I expect a bit more but at least both teams are trying to score this time and it's not gonna be a boring game as markovic steals the ball stevanovic can he get up he can pejic bringing it forward there's a lot of players up there he looks like he's gonna line up a shot no he doesn't back back pejic Ooh, that was a good tiki taka moment and that was a good shot i i appreciate that Stepanovic picks it up once again. He is playing very well. He's losing Balas, but he's still playing well. He's getting more time now. He's probably grateful for that. L so many lost balls. Nope, there we go. Stepanovic messes up, and one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, Ilya Babic scores. Oh, once again, the goalkeeper thing is a big of a problem for this club, because these kind of goals... No, this kind of goals is a defensive error, but look at this. How many times did we have... We, sold, we could have stolen the ball, like, twice at least. Play through. Stepanovic completely misses that. Babic finishes. That's a good finish. And that's a horrible goalkeeping. I mean, it's one-on-one. What can you say? Well, I mean, the only thing we can do is put Illich there. Put Stupar as a roaming playmaker. And in terms of other subs, we have no other subs. I guess this will be the only chance we have. Markovic. Markovic makes it up. Let's go. This is why... And this is why you pause before you make substitutions. We would have missed this otherwise. Let's go, Markovic. Oh, man, this guy just wants a contract. When the Champions League story ends, we're going to sign him. Basically, we're going to sign him. I, I This kid has been a great part of this club, and he does it well. He scores in the Vichiti Derby. Beautiful. And now we can make our subs in peace. But look at these statistics. They're looking absolutely incredible. Lots of things are happening, but nothing much on the screen right now. Is that going to be the end of the game? I honestly don't know. I'm... What? Encourage the boys once again. There we go. We have a chance and that cancelled the highlight. Interesting. We have another corner from a different side. Stanich does not reach it. Markovic, you got to get there before the guy. Yes, you do. Rogac, Stepanovic, you made a mistake. Don't make the mistake again. Markovic brings the ball forward back to Stepanovic. Okay there. That's beautiful play. Beautiful to Stepanovic. Beautiful play. Bahabek is going to let a shot. Bahabek hits the goalkeeper as well. Hits the cross, but hits the goalkeeper. Hits everything. And it looks like this game is going to end in a draw. I mean, I will take it. I think, I mean, look at the stats. Look at the stats. Wow. Popovic had a shit game. Really, really bad game. Wow. But we dominated this game. We should have done better. Well, I guess that leaves this game to it. We are going to be taking on Monaco in the next round. I hope you enjoyed this long, the longest video I've pretty much done of Football Manager ever, I think. I will have to go check, but this is a long-ass video. But I hope you enjoyed this. We're still first. Uh, Red Star, with this result, managed to jump over Chukarichki, but Chukarichki has another game in hand. So, this could be exciting. Maybe Chukarichki will be the second team. Who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Smash the like button if you did. Tell me in the comments. First of all, do you like these longer videos? Should I do more Double Trouble videos? And also, I'm thinking potentially from next season to stop doing Partisan to Glory in the same format, but instead, potentially, live stream it on YouTube. Tell me what you think about live streaming on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!